it's only 10 degrees outside and you want to go camping and you're wondering will the Aldi heat system warm up your trailer? Well, let's find out in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. So I'm gonna run a real simple non-scientific test uh, on the Aldi heat system. It is 10 degrees outside. It is reading 18 degrees inside the trailer. It is 1230 on a Friday afternoon. So we're just gonna see what this thing does over the course of the day. Now I am gonna run it on propane. Uh, when I was talking with some of the workers at the factory, they told me that one of the reasons I probably had trouble last winter when we were camping with these extreme temperatures and the Aldi wouldn't get me up to temp was I was trying to run it on electric. And they said it's going to be much quicker in bringing it up to temp if I run it on propane. So we're going to run this test on propane. Now, before anybody... Um, comments wondering how much propane am I going to burn through. Honestly, with 10 degrees outside and we've got wind chills worse than that, I don't feel like unscrewing the tank and measuring the propane levels. So in this particular video, we're not worried about the actual propane usage. It's just what will it do with these extreme temperatures. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we're just going to let this thing start warming up and we'll keep checking it throughout the day. All right, I'm back in. It's 1.35 and the outdoor temperature has went from 10 to 14 degrees, just so we have a reference point. And the Aldi now is up to 29 degrees in here. So that means it's come up 11 degrees in one hour. Um, again, that's not like a forced furnace, forced air furnace that you would have in a traditional trailer. But again, I'm pretty impressed that we've come up 11 degrees in one hour. So we'll come back out in another hour and see how it's doing. Okay, we are now two hours in, and we are now reading 39 degrees, and the outdoor temperature is still the same at 14 degrees, um, so we've gained another 10 degrees in one hour. So we'll uh, just keep let it cooking away and come back out at 3.30 and see where we're at. So while we're waiting on this uh, next hour, I thought maybe I'd share real quickly with you how your Aldi heating system works, because it's possible some of you don't really understand what's going on here. So the Aldi heat system is a radiant heat system, totally different than the forced air furnaces that you find on a traditional trailer. Um, the way the uh, Aldi heat system is, is it uses a product called glycol, which is heat tolerant. So it heats the glycol up and uses is a, a circulating pump to run that fluid through a series of pipes here in the trailer. And then you will find openings throughout the trailer. For instance, there's one right in front of the bed here in the 400. There's one on the kitchen countertop. Um, they're down below the dinette. Um, you actually have all the piping in your bathroom. So your bathroom is actually heated. And so that heated glycol just flows through all of these, these tubes. And then the heat literally just comes off of and comes out all of these openings. So you want to make sure you keep all of these openings clear if you're using your Aldi heat system so that, that heat can radiate out. And one of the real positives of the Aldi heating system is it is so quiet. The only thing you're really going to hear if you really listen is you may hear a little bit of a gurgling or bubbling sound um, from the Aldi uh, tank or the glycol tank. But beyond that, you don't hear that kicking on, kicking off throughout the night. You don't hear fans or blowers um, or anything like that. And that's what I really like. And the other thing is once we get this thing up to temperature, it is a nice, consistent heat. Um, and it's, you know, it's a dry heat. It's It honestly just keeps you toasty. So now, depending on which tab model you have, you're going to have a glycol tank. Um, ours is here in the closet. But de again, depending on which model you have, um, yours may be someplace else. You always want to make sure you check that regularly. There's a minimum and a maximum level for filling that, and you want to keep it in between there. Uh, now, we actually had a cracked tank right before Christmas, and it allowed all of our glycol to um, leak out. I didn't know it. I was trying to run the Aldi system. It actually burned up our pump. 
but New Camp took care of us. Um, I actually ran it over to the factory right before we left for Florida, and they quickly changed out not only the crack tank, but they found out that the uh, pump was bad, replaced it, and we were back up and running. The other thing that I did while I was there was I went ahead and picked up some extra glycol. You can buy it direct from um, your dealer. They will order it from New Camp for you, and it's already pre-mixed the way you want it. You just literally put it in to your tank if you need to top your tank off. So now I'm just carrying um, a couple half gallons of that with me and we'll have it if we ever need to refill. So hopefully that gives you just a little bit more information on your Aldi system um, and how it actually works as far as keeping you nice and warm. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just wait here a little bit longer and then we'll take another reading. Okay, it's 334 and we're now reading 46 degrees. So we gained about um, seven degrees in that last hour is all, but the external temperature, it's actually dropped. The sun went down. We're back to 11 degrees outside. So the trailer is actually 46 still isn't as warm as you would want it, but it's actually somewhat comfortable now or more comfortable in here. So that is through three hours. Let's give it another hour and we'll see where we're at. All right, we are at the four hour mark. It's 4.30 and we're 14 degrees outside and it looks like our Aldi is reading 53 degrees. I believe that's a seven degree increase um, from last hour. So it, it seemed like early on we were getting about 10 degrees an hour for those first couple hours and it's when it slowed down a little bit. Um, the nice news is you'll notice I'm not in my heavy coat. It's actually warm enough in here after four hours um, that it's comfortable and I don't need my coat on. Um, definitely going to need to put it on to get back outside. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go one more hour and we'll see where we end up after a five hour um, period. And um, we'll be back in one hour. All right, it is 5.33. Um, the temperature outside is starting to really drop. We're down to nine degrees outside. So just in that last hour, the sun's starting to go down. So it's getting colder out. Um, we're at 55. So we didn't gain a whole lot in that last hour. But again, the trailer's actually comfortable. Um, so there you go. It took us five hours to get us up to 55 degrees. We're not where I wanted to be. I wanted to get us up closer to 60 um, but at the same time, we would be okay. Now, if you don't have five hours to wait for your trailer to heat up, I'm going to go ahead and link a video for you, I believe up here, um, on a, a little heater that we carry with us when it's really cold out. It's the Mr. Heater Portable Buddy. It uses those little green cylinders, and you can actually bring your trailer up in under 30 minutes. And the nice thing is, once you bring it up, you don't even need that heater anymore. Then you just switch over to your Aldi and let your Aldi take over. So if you need that quick rise in temperature, you don't have four to five hours to let it rise, um, check that video out. That little heater might work for you too. So hope you found this helpful. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what your experience has been with the Aldi heating system in the winter months. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.